So I'm going to go ahead and build that fixture just to make sure we're nowhere near that resonant frequency. We're going to really raise it up. And that's one of the things that SolidWorks does a great job with. As you saw, you can easily design your fixture in Mastercam. But inside SolidWorks, you have some additional design tools that make this job really easy. So this is a complex design. I need to support these arches. And so I just kind of put in some uh, splines and matched it up to the geometry and extruded it up till it hit that bottom of that part. This makes it possible for me to design right on the model, uh, build it right up to the geometry so it's going to be a perfect fit uh, and get everything where I need it. Next thing I do is I'll, I'll add a support for these loops. Notice they're, they're not all connected. Everything's just kind of on its own uh, little piece. We'll merge those together in just a little bit. And this is also in an assembly. So this is actually a part file that's in an assembly. I can open it up in its own window so I can kind of do some detail work to get it down and finalized to what I want it to be, what I need it to be which is a fully built and uh, ready to 3D print uh, fixture plate. So here's a few steps that I skipped, but I'm here to put the holes in. So I've got a hole wizard. Uh, hole wizard just puts in whatever size you need. So if I need like a 3 8 clearance hole, I just tell it it's a 3 8 clearance and it puts in the correct size hole, which is going to be a, a, a round drill size. So it's going to be easy to work with. I put in a slot here to kind of drain some coolant out and back in the assembly I'll throw some hardware on. So in the SOLIDWORKS toolbox, which is a, an environment that has all the different fasteners, washers, bolts, even has power transmission components, just about anything you'd buy from you know, Fastenal, McMaster car, or whatever, as far as hardware is concerned, there's a 3D model there that you can pick up. We'll add a few final details to this. Uh, we've confirmed that it fits inside the assembly environment. Now, how do I build this? I don't want to machine that out of a out of a solid block, right? Subtractive is not the best way to create this particular complex geometry. So we are going to print it. So before we use the SLA, the SLA printer uh, kind of uses a resin with lasers. SLS, selective laser sintering, melts uh, plastic powder. So the way it works is you'll take your build chamber and get it into the machine. Uh, the material gets loaded into a material cartridge and you can mix up new and you know previously uncentered powder to kind of reuse so you're not wasting anything. But it just melts layer by layer and then the part is sort of encased in this block of powder and you just sort of use the SIFT machine. It's all, you know, kind of one integrated system. Use that machine to kind of pull it out, clean it up. And then <clears throat> this is what you get. So here is our fixture. This thing is ridiculously rigid. This is a nylon 12 material. Um, the big thing about SLS relative to SLA is that you're printing a whole bunch of parts all at once. So think of that build chamber. If you had a whole bunch of, let's say, vice jaws, uh, fixtures, you know, work supports, uh, caps, and you know, whatever it is, and you're like, okay, I don't want to print these one at a time and then take them off the machine and hit start again. I want to print a bunch of them, right? Imagine taking those parts and dumping them into a bucket, dumping them into that build chamber and just sort of, you know, shaking it down so they all settle down to the bottom. You do not have any restraints in terms of how they're oriented or, you know, whether they're connected to anything else because they're going to be embedded in that powder. You can print an entire bucket of parts all in one shot. Now, it may not be like next day, right? Uh, it may not be the next day to get these done, but then if you've got a bunch of them and fixtures tend to be something you've got a little more time on, you're going to be able to build those. CNC machines are for making money. These 3D printers are to help in that effort, right? Don't machine all of your fixtures, especially things that have complexity to them. Mm -hmm.